What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. While I'm back with another mod tutorial for you guys today, man. I hope everyone is having a good day. Today, I'm going to be doing an updated video on how to install Menu PC Single Player Trainer mod. Now, for this mod, we will need Scripthook V and Scripthook V.net. I will leave a link to both of those in the description, as well as Menu Trainer, of course. So basically, if you don't know what menu trainer is, it is a mod menu that lets us do so much. Pretty much everything, almost everything. <laughs> we can spawn cars, objects, people, and so much more of that nature. So what you want to do is just read the full description of the mod so that you know everything about the mod. And you want to uh, click the link in the description to ScriptHookV and ScriptHookV.net. You want to have those downloaded as well. Shout out to the creator of this mod. His name is Mafins. So once you have all your links ready, you have your script hook V and your script hook V.net ready, and you're on your menu PC trainer right here, you want to click the download button. It's going to lead you to this page right here. You want to scroll down and you want to click download latest release. Now for script hook V.net. We just want to always make sure that we click the latest version, okay? There's going to be different versions down here. We always want to make sure that we download the latest one just so that everything is working correctly, all right? So let's go ahead, click it. We want to scroll down a little bit, and we're going to see scriptov.net.zip. That's what you want to go ahead and click, and it's going to start downloading. Last but not least, let's go to scriptov. All right, we're on Scriphook V's website. What you want to do is you want to scroll down to this download button right here and you want to click download. It will also start downloading. Now that we have everything downloaded, let's start installing it. All right, let's start by extracting all of these folders with whatever program we use. I use WinRAR. You can use WinRAR as well or 7-Zip or any of the other available programs that they have. And you just want to open and extract. All right, now what we want to do after we extracted all of those folders is we want to open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. This is where we're going to be dragging and dropping all of the files. All right, now that we have our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory open, let's go ahead and minimize it for now. We just want to leave it open because we're going to be dragging and dropping some files soon. Let's go ahead and start with the script hook V folder right here. Now, the script hook V folder is going to have a readme. It's going to have a link here, and it's going to have a folder that says bin. Now, ignore everything else and just open up the folder that says bin. And you're going to have native trainer.asi, dinput 8.dll, and script hook V.dll. Now, what you want to do, you don't need the native trainer. You can drag and drop it if you like, but you don't need it. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And what you want to do is you want to take your script hook v.dll and your input 8.dll and you want to drag and drop it into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now, when I drag and drop it, it's going to ask me if I want to replace. I'm going to say no, obviously, because I already installed it. That's why it's asking me that. So, again, I'm going to select no. All right. Once you have it drag and dropped, you want to go into our script hook v.net folder next. And we're going to have more files in this folder. We're going to have we're going to have six script hook v dot net files and we're going to have a readme and a license. We don't need the license and the readme. So, again, we can just either ignore it or get rid of it and we can highlight all of our script hook v dot net files. Open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory again and drag and drop it right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. I'm not going to replace because I already have it installed. So I'm just going to exit out of that. Last but not least, let's open up our menu folder. All right, we're going to have menu.asi and a menu stuff folder right here. What you want to do, open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Take your menu.asi, drag and drop it. As well as your menu stuff, you also want to drag and drop it. After you have drag and drop that, we are all done installing menu PC. We can go ahead and run GTA 5. All right, once we spawn in the game, what we want to do is press F8 on the keyboard twice. 
I had to press it once because I already loaded up my menu. But on the first time that you use menu, you will need to press F8 twice. All right. And basically, we have a bunch of options here, player options, vehicle options, teleport options, weapon options, and so on. It's basically everything is self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? With vehicles, you can spawn vehicles, teleport, you can teleport anywhere in the game. Let me just go ahead and, you know, show you guys how Object Spooner works. Object Spooner, basically, you can spawn an entity, a car, a motorcycle, a boat, anything, a person, an object. I'm just gonna spawn some people for you guys just to show you guys that everything is working. Oh, well, oops. I think cause I'm inside a place. Hold on, let me go on spooner mode. So I can spawn some people for y'all. Maybe throw a little party. <laughs> All right, as y'all can see, now we got some, we got some people in the house. <laughs> We got some ladies in the house. <laughs> hey, y'all ladies, we got some wine over here if y'all want to turn up a little bit. <laughs> hey, all right, so let me go ahead and spawn some more things for y'all. When you guys are in a house like I am, it's probably going to be like spawning stuff over top of the house. So you just want to go in spooner mode. That's only when you guys are inside a building. It's going to like spawn stuff. Uh, on the roof. Yeah, I know it's kind of crazy, but <laughs> all right. Let me, uh, it's a little crazy, but let me go ahead and spawn a vehicle for you guys. There you go. <laughs> all right. There you go. Spawn the vehicle. You can spawn boats, cars, motorcycle, helicopters, you name it. You can spawn anything you want, man. So, yes, this is menu. How to install menu, the latest version of menu and actually i use menu to teleport to this interior right here as you guys can see this is a online apartment but i uh, had to get away from uh, denise because i just you know i just installed the game so i'm still living with denise and she's she's really annoying i don't like denise so i had to had to get out of there have to teleport to some other house because she's very annoying <laughs> but uh, hey man if this helped you guys smash the like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can be notified when i upload on the channel i love all of you guys man and i will see you guys in the next video peace